Hello, it's Friday today and I'm definitely getting the Friday feeling. I've had another lockdown revelation. Let's see if anybody else has this same thing going on. Right, I associate home with being busy and getting stuff done. It's my place of productivity. It's where I educate my daughter. It's where I cook all the food, do the washing up, do housework, practice my flute because I've been self-employed for decades. So it's where I do all my practice and any music-y, arrangey stuff. Home is my workspace. And now that I'm in it all the time, I've realized that it's very hard to get out of that mindset even now eight weeks or so into the pandemic lockdown because normally when I go out that's our downtime in a way apart from working obviously but even that's really relaxed for me because I'm a musician you know it's really fun to do it it's a bit stressful sometimes in certain situations but normally it's like a good night out with friends except you get paid for it <laughs> so I'm not really relaxing very much so today I have I've had this morning off until about 11.30 and I just sat in my bed I ate breakfast and I watched vlogs on YouTube and I thoroughly enjoyed it but I still had that nagging feeling of it's office hours you should be being productive and Izzy was in the next room doing her maths and I don't know I feel guilty when she's working and I'm not <laughs> doesn't happen very often, believe me, but on the rare occasions it feels like she's being active, I should be as well, and I wasn't. I was having a rest, which is very good for me and will be beneficial in the long run. <laughs> so anyway, my conclusion is I need to just chill out a bit more, but it is coming up to half term now and I think Izzy wants two or three days off school next week and then two or three off the following week. She's going to have two half half terms, but she's going to decide what the days are. Uh, I have got a few things that I should get around to. I managed to buy these seeds yesterday on my rare foray out into a shop, but I couldn't get any potting compost because I just couldn't carry any more. Likewise the little pots. But then I was going to put them straight in the ground, but now I'm thinking slugs and I was talking about slug pellets to Izzy and she said, well I don't want to grow vegetables if it means killing slugs. They're living creatures, they deserve respect. And I thought, well she has got a point. But in the past, if I haven't used any slug pellets, it's just been, like, futile. Nothing has survived at all. They've just gone, hmm, hum, and then gone further down the line, hum, further down the line, hum, and just devastated every single thing. And I think that will just happen again. If I'm going to put these straight in the ground, I'm going to have to do it very soon because the year is moving on fast. Any suggestions? I just, I feel like if I'm not going to use anything against the slugs, it's just no point in growing them. Does anybody else have this opinion too? Or am I just being over the top? I'm not that experienced at gardening anymore. Before Izzy was born, I had a lovely vegetable garden and grew loads of stuff. And f until she was about seven or something like that, I had a good vegetable garden. And then she got really poorly, ended up in hospital in Bristol and... We couldn't tend to the garden. By the time I got back, it was completely overgrown and out of control and I never got back on top of it since. So it's been a while. I don't have any tools anymore because I left them in the old gaff because I haven't really got a garden here. It's just, I'll show you, hang on. The weather's not so good today. Right, so this is my very unprivate garden. It's full of weeds at the moment. Uh, so that's it. That's my garden. <laughs> Other than that, I've got some concrete yeah well, that's about it really I'd quite like to convert it into a bit of a outside space now really you know the only limits my imagination really isn't it and I have not been imaginative yet it's so wet here that for most of the year there's just no point in going out anyway but during the pandemic now if we're going to be home all summer it'd be really nice to just make that a little bit nicer I think I could probably uh, spend some time this weekend, maybe, dedicate some hours to it. I might feel rewarded by that. I need to get some inspiration. I'm not feeling inspired. I don't want to start. I've just rung my dad up and had a nice long chat and a catch up and talked a bit about the bean situation. I think I might be forming a bit of a plan. He thinks the slugs aren't that interested in beans, but if I plant double and then pinch out, uh, if there's a, like too many later that might be a strategy and he thinks if I do the courgettes in the grow bag or something like off the ground level they might have more of a fighting chance against the slugs but he said they are a bit vulnerable those ones mm. 
I'm making myself some food. It's one of my heated up leftovers thing. I've just thrown some soya milk in it to stop it sticking. This was me pasta dish I did for lunch yesterday and I totally cheated and I just threw a tin of mushroom soup in it at the end. <laughs> Made it into a creamy mushroomy sauce. It was quite mild and not that tasty if I'm honest. But I've put a bit of salt in it now and I'm gonna just add some of these at the last minute. Lizzie just wants a toasty so she's gonna do herself one of defrosted some bread for her. It's coming up to about half past one now. Izzy and I have eaten our lunch and the time has come almost to go through that biology assignment together. She tried so hard with it yesterday. It's just questions that you have to answer basically. A written assignment. The answers should have all been hidden in the lesson and the revision sheet. She went through both. She found one answer which was like a six marker so it was quite a good one but all the others she just couldn't even find them in the lesson or the text so we're gonna have a go together and I'll see what's so difficult about it she was really trying so hard she was ever so frustrated with it so that's what's next because he's actually done very well with that assignment got more or less 100% didn't you we kind of brainstormed the last two together a bit but other than that yeah, yeah. so for half of it you've got 100% more or less and she's doing an essay for the next part but she's so baffled by it we're just taking an example essay she's going to highlight all the main points on you well, this is my suggestion yeah it's a kind of more easy in as it was get you started it's going to highlight all the main points and then reword it in your own way aren't you including all the main points yep the sciencey bits right and i'm going to actually pull the weeds up out of that earth out the back i could do with picking up all these bits of whatever that is up there <laughs> What a mess. Oh, here we go. I'm not feeling motivated to do this, but I'm sure once I get going, I'll enjoy it. And then I'll be really glad I did it. I started to do some the other day. I've just sort of abandoned them there. I actually don't have a yard brush since I moved house. So it's something else I need to buy, but it's just so difficult to get that sort of stuff during the lockdown, you know, quickly. I could order it on Amazon, but it's going to take ages to come. I bought these gloves from Lidl's at the start of the pandemic. Well at the start. That had been just before lockdown. I envisaged having to go out and forage for stinging nettles and, and stuff. Didn't get that bad though, did it? Not yet. I'm going to need to stake my beans up for something and I don't know where I can get poles. That was pretty sharp, spiky stuff. This stuff is supposed to go on the top of the wall to stop people climbing on it. Ouch. <laughs> Nails all sticking out there. This has rotted away. I noticed the owners left that there when they moved out. Might be able to do something with it. Maybe. Ooh. Well, I've made some progress. It's getting very, very windy. So I think I'm gonna nip in and get my jumper done it is he's done her essay so i'm gonna go in and she's gonna read that to me but i just wanted to show you the patch the soil is quite nice actually i think it was potting compost and i think it was probably just all put in as potting compost like new if you know what i mean like it's not existing soil i'm collecting some rubbish up in a rubble sack there in the green bin which i will do some more of later i expect right let's go and see what is he has done She's finished her biology now. She's um, started the mini mock, but not as a mock, just as an exercise. So open book, you would say. So looking up the answers as you go, if you don't know them. She's finding this book, which I'll put a link to in the description if I haven't already. It might be there as standard, I'm not sure, but I'll put a link. Um, she's finding that is much better for just having everything concisely on one page and easy to find the key points. She's having a little break and then she's going to do some English out of this book, carrying on. We've been focusing for a little while on vocabulary for English literature exams. We haven't learned how to spell them yet, but we've been understanding the meanings of them. So we might have a little double check on that before we move on. I'm wondering whether to get the Scrabble and Upwards tiles out and see if we can make some kind of crosswordy type thing on the table with them. I'm not sure she's getting a bit old for that now. I wonder if that'll actually help with the spelling. Certainly make a focus on them for a bit, wouldn't it? Might be fun. I think she needs perking up. She's kind of not in the mood today. 
she's been a good girl. She's always a good girl for me these days. <laughs> um, but she's she's not in the mood for really knuckling down and focusing. I think she needs to go out and have a good long walk. It's been quite difficult to persuade her to go out because she's worried about the COVID and I think she's a bit freaked out by seeing people queuing outside shops and avoiding each other and I think she's just finding it all a bit weird and it's just easier and more comforting at home. Printing off a huge list of a, like a glossary for English literature exams, way more words than she's covered so far, but we'll put them in the folder and uh, we'll have it for reference. Okay, I've got a plan. So we're gonna go through this BBC Bite Size blurb together because I think it's, it looks like it might be a little bit inspiring, like making you feel empowered once you've got some extended vocabulary to use. And after that, we'll get the Scrabble tiles out and we'll kind of do a spelling test, but it'll be like with the tiles. <laughs> Let's see if this excites her. Ta-da! There's our Scrabble set. Look, that was £1.25 from a charity shop. The upwards. That was £1.50 from a charity shop. See, you just need to get resourceful when you're a home editor. That list over there is more epic than I realised. I was thinking at some point I might go through it with her and get her to put a sticker or something next to the ones that she already knows so that she can gradually fill it up as her vocabulary extends. I thought that might make it a bit more fun, maybe. And the next word is personification. Oh no, to find the P. Oh. You're gonna run out of letters in a minute. We've got the Scrabble ones over there in reserve. She's on enjambment now. We're never quite sure if you're meant to pronounce that B. We should look that up really, shouldn't we? If we do pronounce it with a B, at least you'll know it's in there. I'm pretty sure it's enjambment. Enjambment, I think so. I think we did look it up, but I think it was in there. Actually, now I come to mention it. It's one of those things we ask. Can you not use the blank Scrabble tiles? I can't it's find it. It's a spelling exercise. A. I can see one from here. Where? Oh. Can you remember what enjambment means? I'm putting her on the spot now. Look over there. No. <laughs> no, I can't. Diddy, diddy, diddly do, boo! It's when you break up the lines of a poem and you put them on different lines and it's to reinforce that particular segment of the sentence. Well, Izzy's done remarkably well with these. Very, very few errors at all. It's about ten past four now. We've been doing workbooky stuff as well about English literature, vocabulary, but we've come to the end of that now, so we're going to move on to history vocabulary next time. But right now we're both a bit tired and Izzy definitely needs to get out of the house. She needs a change of scene and she really wants to come to the supermarket with me so I'm gonna see if they'll let her in. But we're gonna go to the discount supermarket and see if we can get anything like garden canes or the odd trowel, things like that. I don't know if we'll be able to and we'll pick up food while we're in there but they don't, they don't really sell perishable stuff very much apart from like bread and crumpets and things. We're in, we're getting flowers, look. Izzy's getting like practically emotional, aren't you, Izzy? <laughs> My assistant helped me carry stuff. So we've got quite a lot here. Look, we've got some... <gasps> it's broken! No! Oh no, I wonder if we could like put some tape around it or something. Yeah. I wonder if it would heal. Well, it might do. We might be able to fix its vascular system. Maybe. It's probably good that we're getting some flowering plants because we're studying flowering plants at the moment. There we are. It's, um, yeah, linked to studies. What did you think about going to the shop then? Uh, I liked it at first and then I got really anxious. Did you? What were you worried about? I don't know, I just, my heart was kind of dropped the entire time. Oh, really? I, was like, oh, I couldn't tell. You've... You seemed very calm to me. No, I was very anxious. Oh dear. It was not fun for me. But it was very, very helpful for me, I must admit, to um, give me a hand carrying stuff. So we've got plants. Uh, that geranium is looking very droopy. I might seriously try and get some masking tape on it and just see. I don't know if it'll work. Got some food, more plants. Now, they did not have canes, but they did have trellis. You see? trellis. Now I'm no expert on climbing beans but I'm kind of guessing that especially if I go out every day and just help them along a bit I could twizzle them so they climb right and we'll see as the summer progresses whether I was right or not with my trellis theory. Thank you Izzy. You're welcome.
Now I've got the very tedious job of wiping every single thing down with a washing up liquidy cloth, which is going to be really annoying. I'm not going to wash the trellis that's going in the garden shortly. Then we're eating ready meals for dinner because it's Friday. We can't have takeaways. We can't go out to eat. Well, we, we can get takeaways, but I don't want takeaways. Yeah, we could get takeaways, but we don't want to risk it. So um, we're going to have ready meals and pretend it's a takeaway or a restaurant. Well, I wasn't going to pretend, but you know. I just want that Friday feeling. And plus, it's half term. We're also going to put our plants in the earth and plant the beans and have an evening walk because she needs a walk and she's being forced to come out tonight, aren't you, dear? <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, we're not doing the planting today because I've just remembered that my dad said earlier we should soak the beans overnight to give them a bit of a head start, he said. And he also said because we're putting them straight in the ground quite late on in the year that they'll grow faster now with the climatic conditions as they are now. Uh, than if we'd have started them ages ago in trays in the house. But I'm going to put the courgettes in the seed trays, I think, and just get some earth out of the garden. I've washed up. Here are the plants, anyway. Oh, they look so nice there. I've forgotten how nice plants are. I kind of, I don't know, I feel like I've got some company from them, which is bizarre, but I suppose they are alive. I've done a sellotape jobby on the geranium and I doubt it's going to hold. My prediction is it's just going to wither and die. But let's see, shall we? I don't know, I'm just going to try it out and I'm not going to look it up. I'm just going to do it and see. These are petunias. These are our cheap, nasty, ready meals that we're just having because we want to change. Spag bowl for Izzy with meat in and uh, mac and cheese for me because it's very hard to get a vegetarian ready meal that's not mac and cheese in most shops that sell ready meals. Bought myself a trowel and a propagator set. I think that's going to be more for my herbs, actually. I remember now on the phone this morning, Dad did say, put these straight out but just raise them up so the slugs kind of, they're not like immediately in the path of the slugs. But I'll do the basil and coriander in the propagator trays and maybe I'll just try and grow them on the windowsill rather than putting them out. Not the healthiest selection today, I'm afraid. <laughs> Got some pop for Izzy, Rubicon mango, some mandarin in jelly for Izzy. More ready meals, I'll just put them in the fridge and have them in a few days, whatever. Noodles, because you know, Cheap and cheerful. Mushroom soup, ton of tomatoes, hot noodles to my shame, Vimto, toothpaste, stock cubes, chicken for Izzy, ham for Izzy, and Papa Doms for Izzy because she loves them. Crumpets, of course, bread, and rice cakes. That's it, really. So we're going to get that food on now because we're actually quite hungry. Then we're going to go for a walk which I'm not going to film, but we do need a big bracing walk, the pair of us, because we are now feeling a bit cabin fevered, especially Izzy. So that's what we're going to do. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.